Good morning. You're watching The Daily War for Wednesday, February 3rd. I'm Valentino. And I'm Elias. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The deadline to submit your course selections for next school year have been extended to tomorrow. That's right, you now have until tomorrow to choose the classes you want for next year. Make sure to click submit after making your course selection or your counselors will make your selections for you. And you may not like the electives that you have. Those selections are due tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. When on the Canvas dashboard, if you hit your profile picture up here and hit files, you will be able to access all sorts of Canvas files that you can put here and it will store it for you on your Canvas dashboard. This will have items such as pictures that you send from different emails, your profile pictures from Canvas, your submissions, all your assignments, and different clubs and all your classes. All of these will be displayed right here and it has a 31.5 gigabyte usage. How did jazz music come about and what has it meant to many African Americans? Here's more as we continue to recognize Black History Month. By the turn of the 20th century, New Orleans had long been a veritable cultural melting pot. Out of that unique culture would be born a new form of African American music a blend of African, Latin, and European forms and styles. This music would be called jazz. In the early days, jazz was played primarily by African American musicians, and they often played it in the red light districts of New Orleans. In 1917, the military closed the New Orleans Red Light District, but by that time, the music had caught the attention of a young man who lived in the neighborhood. His name was Louis Armstrong, and he would go on to become a sensation in New Orleans. Jazz was one of the most innovative and original forms of African American cultural expression. Yet, the first jazz recording was made by an all-white band from New Orleans. But it was a group of black soldiers who would take jazz itself to an international audience. The music became so popular that the Roaring Twenties came to be known as the Jazz Age. From its humble and controversial origins, jazz had become the first original, sophisticated instrumental music in American history. Jazz is America's genuine classical music. We thank the African American Culture Club for finding these videos to share here on The Daily Roar. Hello everybody and welcome back to What to Read. Today I am recommending Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. A boy named Will is on his way to get revenge for his dead brother, but he is stopped by a couple of people on an elevator ride down to the ground floor. This is probably one of the most unique books I've ever read, as it is written entirely in free verse poetry and it takes place within a span of 60 seconds. Long Way Down is not only a great and fast read, but it also talks about really important topics such as gun violence and grief. Flag football tryouts will begin on Monday, February 8th at 3.30. No experience is required to try out. At this time, a location has not been set. If you make the team, practices will be on Mondays and Wednesdays, with games on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The, follow the team's Instagram page, which is at LNHS Flag. Today's athletic schedule is the following. Boys basketball will face St. Cloud. Boys soccer will go against Montverde Academy. And girls basketball will head to district semifinals against Oak Ridge High School. I'm Elias. And I'm Valentino. Today's quote is from Martha Luther King Jr. Darkness cannot drive out the darkness. Only the light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. That's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow, Lions.